Adding your own custom domain to a Firebase web app is actually really simple. Let's walk through it together using this web page I've already published online. First head over to the back end, then go to App Hosting. Then navigate to Settings and click the Add Custom Domain button. The domain I'll be using for this example is urfarm.com, which I own. OK, Firebase now shows us the host records I need to add to my DNS provider. If any values have a red background, they need to be removed. So let's switch over to Namecheap, which is my DNS provider. Here's my domain in Namecheap. I'll click Manage and then choose the Advanced DNS tab. I'll put the two browsers side by side. The first record type is A. To set this up correctly, it helps to check the Firebase documentation for hosting instructions. For Namecheap, we need to use the at sign for the root host and www for that prefix. This setup is common across most DNS providers. At represents the root. Let's copy the A and TXT records. For both of them, the host should be at. By the way, these values are usually sensitive information. Mine are just old ones I've already deleted long time ago, so it's safe to show them for this demo. I'm blurring out part of the TXT record though. It's just best to never show that one completely. Now for the CNAME record, let's try adding the exact value Firebase gave us. Uh-oh, I hit a page unresponsive error. It's likely because of a trailing dot in the string. To be safe, I'll double check on Google for a fix. The solution is to use just the first part of the domain, and Namecheap will handle the rest. OK, all the host records are added in Namecheap. Now I can pop over to a site like nslookup.io to see if they've propagated and can be found online. And look, there's the IP already. Then I can also go back to Firebase and click Verify Records. It looks like it doesn't find the values just yet. This always takes some time, so now we just have to wait. After only 35 minutes, the status changed to Pending, which was pretty fast. Sometimes I've seen it say minting the certificate for two hours. The final status we want is connected, but even at pending, we can test the page. And it works! Just know it might take up to 24 hours to work perfectly everywhere. Let's also test www prefix. That doesn't work yet, so the next step is to get that working too. We need to add another custom domain. The important part here is to click the option to redirect it to the one we just configured. And no surprise, we got a new set of host records to copy over to Namecheap. Here they are, and notice that this time the host value is www. That's all you need. Once the DNS updates, it'll start working too. Now let's add a custom subdomain, feedback.urfarm.com, for a feedback form I've published. This runs on a completely separate backend from the main site. Head to that backend in Firebase and add a custom domain for it you'll get another set of host records. This time, the host value is feedback. Looks like this time I waited about one hour and 20 minutes, and now we've got the feedback form, the main root domain, and www.urfarm.com all up and running. And that's the whole process. Thanks for watching.